I want to share with you a recent book that I read and loved. Don't judge it by its cover, or maybe you should. It's branding as sex. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. Hi, and welcome to this week's Andy's Point of View. Listen, I just read Deb Gabor's Branding as Sex. Great book. When you're talking, when you're thinking about how your brand is showing up in the marketplace, this is a fantastic book. So when I look at branding and the way you market your company, I almost see it fundamentally there's three steps you want to take. The first one is you want to start with, I, I'm a big fan of Simon Sinek, start with why. You have to know why your organization exists, why your team gets up in the morning every day to serve your clients. Like, What is the difference you're making in the world? So you have to understand your why. Secondly, uh, actually before I read this book, I would start with the why and then I'd go right into what are my marketing uh, execution tools that I'm going to do. I'm going to do social media, I'm going to print a magazine, I'm going to do this or that and the other thing. So. You know, I went straight from the foundation of why, your, my, why our organization exists and then how do we market that and how do we communicate that out. But there's a critical middle step there that I completely miss. And that is how does your, once you know your why, your purpose for being, how does your brand show up in the marketplace? How do you want your, what do you want your brand archetype to be? Is it the humorous? Is it a serious brand? Is it, you know, what is it? Is it informative? You want to think and deliberately design your brand and the way you want your brand to show up in the marketplace. You want to, you want to do that by design, not by default. And this book is great for addressing that. So it really has changed the way that I look at branding. You start with why, you've got to know why you're in business, what the difference is that you're making in the world or your industry. Then secondly is really think about how do you want your brand to show up in the marketplace. And it's a really key critical first step, or second step I should say. Once you know how you want your brand to show up, then you can be very focused on your messaging. And that's when you can get into the three pillars of marketing. It will give you basically the roadmap and the guidelines you want to use when you're doing your digital print and interactive marketing. This is what our brand stands for and this is how we want to show up in the world and then you can go ahead and start doing that. So great book, highly recommended, Deb's awesome and uh, yeah really recommend it for anybody who's serious about branding their company. Hopefully that's helpful, that's this week's Andy's Point of View. Talking about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Don't use that. <laughs> oh, you can. It's okay. Okay. Am I in a good spot this way?